and welcome to Taurus. i'm back guys with another video this is going to be for the month of february so from now and into the month of february today is what january the 29th i think or the 28th so from now and through february you can utilize this video so let's get a message for the bull please give me a message for Taurus, please and thank you spirit guys and ancestors and angels. All right. Okay, Taurus. All right, so it looks like we got photograph, Cupid's arrow, and seduction. And then we got a coffee cup, but we got a snake here. Okay, so you got to be careful. It looks like someone could be um, liking your pictures. Like, I'm getting a, a little admirer here. They want to hook up. This person could be looking at your photographs, hearting them, wanting to meet with you. Um, we got Cupid's arrow, so they got a crush on you. Y'all got somebody who got a crush on you. They're definitely trying. They're definitely attracted to you. They're flirting, um, wanting to hook up and go out on a date, okay? They want to go out. We got coffee cup right here. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. Like They want to go out with you, but be careful because at the bottom of the deck, we got the snake here. All right, so the snake is competition, enemy, clever, malicious, looking over your shoulder, the other woman. Okay, now, the other woman is here twice, the snake and seduction. This could be like someone else, an ex, a salty ex, or a baby mama, or something like that. It could be lurking in the crevices or something, okay? But this person is coming towards you, definitely wanting to take you out on a date, Okay. Right, so y'all got some admirers. All right, tell me more. Tell me some more. Show me this of uh, this person's energy. How does this person feel about Taurus? We got the high priestess. Okay. What else? We got the queen of cups. This person's this person knows that you are sweet. They like your energy. The queen of cups is a wifey material. Okay. This person knows that. Now keep in mind that this person, yes, yeah, see, look at this. They want to come towards you. Nine of cups. And the Knight of Wands. But the only thing that I have a big question mark about is that it's giving off Knight of Wands energy. Like the Knight of Wands is, you know, flirty type energy. Somebody that's not consistent. So we're going we're gonna to see. Yes, the Ten of Cups. Yes. They feel like they can build something with you. And the Eight of Pentacles. They know that you're a sweet person. Like they like you. They like your vibe. They like your energy. The lovers could be a Gemini. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right. So we got the Five of Pentacles. This person doesn't have the confidence to come right out and um, tell you how they feel. So they're kind of like waiting. Waiting it out, okay. Wait until you acknowledge them, come towards them, okay. Yeah, they feel like it's taking a long time for you to acknowledge them. They're waiting on a response, they could be in your DMs. I feel like, yeah, this person feels rejected by you <laughs> moving ahead 
like with that five of pentacles energy let's see tell me why the five of pentacles is here yeah the two of pentacles maybe you declined them <laughs> why is the two of pentacles here the queen of wands Oh, yeah. The Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and the Two of Pentacles. Somebody's juggling somebody here. I feel like you could be declining their offer. Um, but you declining their offer, they could have been already juggling already. Let's see. Who is this Queen of Wands energy? What's going on with this Queen of Wands energy? Yeah, see, it looks like there's going to be some talk about it. Some girl talk. Someone here could be married or already in a situation. Maybe you get some information from a friend. Um, and what, this information is going to give you some type of clarity about this person. I see them juggling. I feel like you reject them and they, they go on to the next. They got someone else in mind. Yeah, they starting over here hearting and liking other people's pictures. Okay, so maybe you've seen them hearting and liking other people's pictures. Um, but yeah, they. I feel like you reject them and they just go after someone else. Yeah, you could be feeling betrayed by this person, like surprised that they would just, you know, slide off like that. Maybe you were expecting for them to put in more effort, but this person just going to go ahead and go to the next. Yep, Six of Swords. See, they're willing to move on. They feel like you're a nice person and all, but they feel like when they offer it, when they offer you this energy they feel like you know you was kind of giving like nervous or not interested i see you want somebody that you could build with this could be somebody that you work with that may be why you may decide to decline the offer yeah, and then with the Tower and the Five of Swords, you know that this could kind of be, like, destructive. Like, if everybody was to find this out, you you know, you don't want to be looked at as in a certain light. So, I feel like some of y'all may pass up the offer. And this person hopes and fears. They got some sneaky stuff going on about their past that they're trying to get over. This person could be younger. This person could also have baby mama. Uh, could have a baby mother and a son or a child. Yeah, you feel like you will regret it. Well, this person feels like uh, somebody may have a wife or something. I keep seeing it. But... Um, This person is already in a relationship. Somebody's already in a relationship. Somebody could already be in a relationship. The four of wands and two of cups symbolizes a stable home and a connection. This person could be an Aquarius. Oh, but this would be a wish come true for them. Nine of cups. It's kind of like they want to have their cake and eat it too. Nine of cups and a star is a wish fulfillment. Is a wish coming true. Yeah, something about going back to how it was. This could have been someone that you could have been previously dealing with. This could be someone that's not new. Um, but they have they it seems like somebody's already in a connection. It could be you already in the connection, it could be them that's already in the connection. But somebody this person is wishing like things could go back to how it was, but they know for a fact that you are a sweet person. 
yeah, they felt like the challenge is they're not they're not sure if you already have someone or is this person mad or woman enough? Is this person up to your standards? Um, how much money do they make? Are you wasting your time with this person? Because they know that you are a sweet person. They know this for a fact. Wow, this person could be an emperor. Yeah, I see this person messaging you or you guys having some type of conversation. Someone could be saying um, that they have someone. This person could be a king of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a king of pentacles. Or do they have someone who's fulfilling that void already? I'm getting somebody like wants to like give you some type of gift or give you some money or something like that. I feel like for some of you, this person could be someone that you work with. And this like that you feel like this person is toxic. These are the type this is the type of person that you kind of want to stay away from, that you distance yourself from. Um so I don't feel like you're yeah, see, you heard that this person, you heard about this person already. Um, and yeah, I feel like some of y'all just gonna decline this offer. This person already, you feel like they already got stuff going on. You heard so about this person already. It was like, nice try, but mm, no. <laughs> try again. All right, so that's the message that I have for you, Taurus. If this message resonated with you, be sure to hit the thumbs up as well as share with your family and your friends. So until next time, ciao.